Hey guys, it's Lopez, and today I'm reviewing Nautica Midnight Voyage. Alright guys, so this is an EDT, Eau de Toilette. This is the 50ml bottle, 1.6 fluid ounces. So the price range for this fragrance, you're looking at $25. We're going to start with the box presentation. This is what the box looks like. There's a boat, a sailing boat. Got some information back here. You get a barcode, some information back there. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out of the box. So this is the fragrance out of the box. You get a plastic blue metallic cap. It is plastic. It used to be metal at one time. You get a blue atomizer and Nautica Midnight Voyage. This is what the bottle looks like. It's a pretty small bottle. You get some information there. And it fits great in the hand. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the box. Show you guys how it sprays. So the notes that I pick up from this fragrance, I get the original Nautica Voyage DNA. I get fresh, I get aquatic, soapy, and I get peppery. The notes that are listed are mint, pink pepper, and amber. So this fragrance was released in 2020. This is a springtime fragrance, but you can pull this off as a versatile fragrance because it's a blue fragrance. So what's the duration on this fragrance? You're getting one hour projection, five hours on the skin, and seven plus hours on the clothing. I would recommend doing 10 sprays with this fragrance. The performance on this fragrance is moderate. That's why you're gonna wanna overspray. You can easily make it past eight hours with enough sprays. Do I recommend this fragrance? Yes. If you enjoyed the original Nautica Voyage, then you shouldn't have an issue with this one. This is just basically a more peppery, more aquatic version of the original. Would I repurchase this fragrance? Yes, it's cheap. It's a different take on the Nautica Voyage line. And besides the original, this would be my personal favorite. They love me. Then let's hear it for your one. The only thing I would change from this fragrance would be the performance. I would make it longer lasting. If I was to describe this fragrance, it would be in between Nautica Voyage Original and Versace Dale and Blue if you were to mix them in a pot. All the Nautica Voyage flankers are good, but this one stands out to me the most because it only comes in a 50 ml bottle. I'm going to give this fragrance a thumbs up for price. Although you can pick up Nautica Voyage, the original, 100 mil for under $20. I still think this is a great fragrance. It is a modern blue fragrance and the quality of this fragrance is well worth picking up. The performance on this fragrance isn't the greatest, but it is still well worth picking up. Just overspray and you'll be fine. Anyways guys, until next time, this was Nautica Midnight Voyage. Thank you.